Governor of Delta State, Ifa Yokoa, has urged stakeholders in Niger's mining industry to guard against the negative experience from oil and gas exploration in the country. Governor Kowa said stakeholders must learn from the experience of oil and gas as regards the environment and its degradation and youth restiveness and guard against such pitfalls. Of course, they did this at the inauguration of Osara Energy Itoru Fola Coal Mines, which was a groundbreaking of 600 megawatts mine mount coal plant in a community in Auchi, not local government area of the state. He was represented by the Commissioner for Oil and Gas, Prince Emmanuel. The governor looked at the impacted communities and their support and cooperation and commended all of their efforts in achieving the community's dreams. Electricity is essential to modern life and a major factor in the nation's economic development. Coal fire power plants contribute to global electricity supply, accounting for 41% of global electricity generation in 2022. While Nigeria has over 3 billion tons of metric tons of coal reserves, coal share in the electric supply is zero. Today, Nigeria has no single coal power plant. We need to change this narrative, and that change must begin now and prioritize developing coal-fired generating facilities in Nigeria. On his part, the Minister of Mines and Seal Development commended the state government for support for the project, adding that the host communities must be first beneficiaries of the project. The Minister said that the communities were the focal point in the mining industry, adding that the support of communities must be sought before the commencement of mining activities. Said the community must be the focus, is the center. And before anybody can do mining, it must have the consent of the community. Mining is destructive in nature. Hence, any will be miner has to go to the community and get that consent, explain what he wants to do. But what I found interesting, you, know, you can't overemphasize the fact that we have power issues in Nigeria. We're not generating enough. We are not distributing or transmitting enough. So we still need to generate a, a lot more. But most importantly, we need to generate in small hubs like this, where it's easy to distribute. Because the first beneficiary from this power plant will be the people of these four communities. Uboba, Nkunzo, Ubudu. They will be the mediate beneficiary. Because that's the way it is. You have to pay the fee from this far before it even goes to other people. And that is the way we can develop our communities. The speech of modern energy can come to the doorsteps of our various citizens. At this power plant, as this power plant is inaugurated, we should all remember that the lesson learned from the oil and gas exploration sector as it pertains to the environmental degradations and youth restiveness. I urge Mosra management to adhere to the terms of the MOU reached amicably by critical stakeholders and also deal with issues of environmental protection with view of maintaining the industrial standard. In the same vein, the communities should not be overbearing, should not make overbearing demands. There must be a balance struck in keeping the business going smoothly. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.